Evola, I don't know. I'd rather read Solomon, to be honest with you. I'm sort of doing a bunch of books, and I'm trying to stay on top of the Bible. I have a bunch, um, but mainly it's the Bible, man. So if you're looking for a book, I would suggest the Christian Standard version. Which I, I like, I like the translation, I think it's really nice. It's really excellent. And I, I, you may even, you may even do a study Bible, like a Spurgeon one or something like that. Or you might, if you get really advanced, you could go with the Strong's Concordance if you really start getting wordy. But you just, you don't want to do that, you don't want to fuck yourself up. You just want to, uh, start with, start with Proverbs, honestly. But in terms of books, I remember there was some concepts I was laughing about with Addison. And also there was some, uh, there were some allusions to this work in maybe Blood Meridian? He's a big Cormac McCarthy fan. And, uh, we were laughing about... I was laughing about how the Tree of Life is indistinguishable from the Tree of Death. And if you see them both right in front of you, you, you don't know the difference unless you're sort of initiated in a very serious or... Uh, unless you know the sort of kingdom of heaven is within you. I'll just leave it... I'll just say that. Unless you know that, unless you can act upon it the tree of life is indistinguishable from the tree of death and he said that that was a concept in this book right here so i said jesus christ fucking bone the aurora that is the, the day spring okay so it's a bit thick but it was it's very 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 intense let me put it that way and it's all especially since i have the bible around me you know you're gonna have you're going to have the references in here that you can sort of... That you can reference. But this, it seemed uh, very good, and I got it a long time ago. Uh, not long, not that long, but it... It just seems really, really excellent. I got number 295 of a thousand. Okay, it was a sort of a special printing. But this one seems very valuable. And there were some real, really, I mean, this is a very intense publisher. Someone was asking about, I mean, Kabbalah, I guess, if you want to do uh, Babylonian or, you know, Edomite or Chaldean Kabbalah. I don't know if you're into that, but if you're into the Hermeticism or whatever the fuck, but this, this is, this was psycho. But this is, I don't think you should try this. It's a bit of a psycho book, but it was near me, so I just decided to pick it up. But if you want to, I would do, just don't, just, just stop. Just go pick up, pick up Proverbs. Start there. Start there and see where that leads you. And also read Dispelling Wetiko. I would do that if I were you. Then I'd light up a Havzi. What do you think of that? Do you appreciate that? As that was some pretty good advice. So I'm gonna not I'm not gonna play games with you. That's some pretty good advice. You know what I mean? Tree of Eden is the same from the tree the Buddha sat under. Okay, Prince, uh, procession, but what does that mean? What does that mean exactly? Well, I mean, Christ consciousness, I guess? I don't know. Someone who is initiated in the kingdom of heaven being within, and ordered to act on it and live their life according to that knowledge, or wisdom rather, is someone who could tell the difference. Destroyed by gaming and a massive reading list? Jai had? Um, just, just read Proverbs. There's, there you do two pa you do two three pages then you put it down and you think about it for the day that's how you're supposed to, sort of supposed to read the Bible or or the Quran or whatever you think you think the Quran is that much you think well I, I I'm not really an authority on really even the Bible but you think you think they're different I guess I'll speak a little bit more on that maybe if ever after I read more of everything being overwhelmed is saying Pick something and read it until it's done. Your attention span? Dude, you have to burn through that suffering and put in the time. Ecclesi Ecclesiastes is a good place to start. Suggy, I don't, I don't doubt you. I just feel that one should start on Proverbs. I really do. And, and that, that passage, uh, Proverbs 30, frickin' 4, 30-4, that Owen Cyclops is bringing up. Uh, that I, I, I mean, I remember reading it and I was like, oh man, but I didn't, I'm not, I'm a really an idiot, so I didn't really think m more than a second about it, but it was like, it was like Jesus Christ prophecy at the end of fucking Solomon's Proverbs. It was fucking, it was hair-raising.
Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty shocking. That blew my mind. That blew my mind. Anyway. Yeah, Zor Zoroastrian... Zoroastrianism is uh, one of the most advanced theological ideologies, Ninjan. It's all the same. Zoroaster. You... 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 pick any prophet, you pick anything. Zoroaster, uh, as far as I know, begins with Zoroaster. I'm not really an expert on, on the sacred text, but... you know... There's a lot that's there's pat there are patterns that oddly enough seem to repeat 